Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is the second video of my series here at Leading the Nationals. Um, we are, what are you smiling at? <laughs> <laughs> we are just under five weeks out. Today is uh, today's Monday. So just past five weeks out. Last time you guys saw me, we were 5.5 weeks out. It was, I think it was last Wednesday. So I made some good progress in the last, uh, I'm making really good progress the last couple, two or three weeks. I hit a new low today. I was just under 240 pounds. Um, usually when I get around this stage, my body tends to like main, I just like stay around the same weight and just get leaner, harder, bigger. So that's sort of what's been going on over the last couple weeks. Uh, so it's really cool to see. It's really encouraging waking up every morning, every couple of days, sending pictures to my uh, coach. A lot of you guys know Patrick's helping me. And uh, you know, just hearing good feedback and seeing good response. So today we're going to be working out with San Mustafa. He has moved here um, to Burlington with his with his wife because she's from here. So it's awesome to have him a part of the community. He's one of the best bodybuilders in the world. So we're continuing to grow the community here at Pure Muscle and Fitness. Um, he's qualified for Olympia. So Cody's joining us today. So we're going to get after this chest workout. Let's see you guys on the gym floor. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing lots of different movements today, focusing on blood volume and a lot of volume. I'm going to be sticking with 12 to 15 reps, increasing the weight each set, uh, focusing more on isolation contraction, trying to keep it out of other muscle groups or joints. Um, you know, I just found like I was always sort of focusing on weight still to a degree and it was bugging my tricep tendon, bugging my shoulders. So the last couple of weeks, I, I literally just scaled back off the weight, increased the volume, um, increased the reps, and I'm getting great workouts and no pain whatsoever in any of my joints. So that's a win-win at this point for me. So the main thing you guys wanna focus on when you're doing the pec deck, is you look at his bicep or his humerus, as he's coming out, it's lengthening and stretching the pec. And then to get a contraction or shorten the pec, he's actually just focusing on bringing that humerus, that bicep, across the body, across the chest. So if you look, he's lengthening pec, he's shortening pec. And you don't want to overstretch in this. Too many people want to get too far back, then it goes into your shoulder. You end up getting a shoulder injury. Five. One. Two. Come on. thing of beauty. <laughs> Jeez. He's like, no, but just like his execution, he's just so in the... Like, just like his execution on the movement, it's like, it's right in the muscle. Like, it's crazy. It's very good. Let's go, uh, Cody. If I want it to be... How do we like this? We were putting it here so it's heavy to light, right? Okay, we'll do this first, then go there. Yeah. This machine here is good. Flat press, it's a lot like the flex leverage, the old school one that a lot of people love, but this one actually converges, which is pretty cool.
pretty cool to see on Hassan, like was even saying on the fly, just how in tune with his body is. Like he's so genetically inclined, but then just like his execution is like perfect. He's very in control. He's very, he knows how to like isolate his muscle and take it to failure without throwing other muscle groups into it. Um, he's also like so advanced that it's almost as if he doesn't even need a spot. And it's funny because his wife was saying he doesn't show much facial expression when he's training. Cause I feel like he's so intuitive with his body that like he doesn't have to use this this other form of intensity to, to use the muscle. He's like so in tune with the muscle that he can actually just isolate the muscle and bring it to muscular failure without taxing his nervous system and throwing other things into it. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see that firsthand with someone who has you know the best genetics on the planet for building muscle. Like I was saying earlier, um, we're doing a little bit higher volume, focusing on more isolation, trying to stay in the muscle and keep all the joints healthy. Um, you know, under five weeks out now, I'm pretty exhausted. Some days are better than others. Today, I was okay with the energy because yesterday I actually had a, a high carb day, but I actually lost half a pound. So my body's just motoring through food now, which is a really, really good spot to be in. So we have to. I'm monitoring things almost daily now with Patrick and you know, I'm assuming our next high carb day, we're gonna have to increase the carbs. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, getting into this prep, it was, uh, it was a little bit challenging because I've had a big long year with work and everything and traveling with a lot of the guys competing. But the last three, four weeks, like I was saying, the last four weeks, I've been locked in, I've been home, um, no variables other than, you know, stuff with work popping up here and there, which is normal. Most people have to deal with that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress, sort of day to day here. Gonna try and keep you guys up to speed with everything going on. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's workouts. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. I've been really happy with the training lately. I'm really enjoying this new style of training. Um, keeps it fresh, keeps it exciting. I'm trying to think what else to update you guys with. I think on the last update, I'll let you guys know my cardio this entire prep. It's been a little lower, it's like 30 minutes. Um, which I think it has a lot of benefits. I think it's actually saved a lot of my leg volume. I'm dieting down. I'm retaining a lot more muscle in my legs. So it's good to have a coach. You know, even myself, a lot of people are probably like, oh, why does Dorian need a coach? Because even myself, when I diet myself, it's hard to look at myself like I do one of my clients. You know, we always want to like, no matter what, when you're an athlete, you always sometimes go to that mentality like, more is better, or am I doing enough? Or, I need to do more cardio. I need to eat less food. So it's always good to have that other eye, that professional, to be like, no, 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 no. Like, pull back on the cardio. Because if it was me doing it, I'd be doing more cardio. I'd be having maybe harsher, lower days, you know? So it's good to have someone to, to know when to push and pull, um, even when you are, you know, a coach like myself. Still post-workout. I think we're gonna keep this in right to the show. Um, to me, I feel like it just really helps with muscle recovery. You know, as soon as you're done your workouts, it's replenishing the muscle with, you know, all the essential amino acids, creatine, kickstarting that recovery process, um, and also um, including some sodium as well. I usually use Redmond Real Salts, uh, but, you know, here at the gym, we only have pink Himalayan. So I'll do a couple dashes of that. I'm doing 30 grams of Carb HD. I'll do 10 grams of EAAs and 10 grams of glutamine. Both of these amino acids are fermented. So the highest quality source, uh, we use amino nine, which is one of the highest quality EAAs. You wanna be really careful with the sources of amino acids um, you're using. That's one thing that you don't wanna buy based on price because you can get some really, really crappy quality amino acids. I'm sure you guys have all heard, you know, some of the horse stories You can get them from fingernails, EAAs or bird feathers or, or whatnot. So fermented source is usually from vegetables so you know the quality is very high. And then I use five grams of the Cray HD. So I'll mix all that up into my shaker cup. 
and I'll take that down immediately after I train. Um, yeah, and then I'll go home and about 45 minutes later, I'll eat my post-workout meal. I'm gonna share my, my whole diet with you guys one of these days, we'll get it all on video. Uh, if you guys wanna use any of these products, um, you can use Dorian Tan at checkout, hdmuscle.com. All, all the quality of our products are all the top quality on the market. Everything is formulated for the best of the best athletes and people that demand the best ingredients. And that's why we have Dr. Dwayne on our team now, um, formulating products with us and we do the third party testing um, just to ensure we have the best products for you guys. Appreciate all your support. And uh, you know, it really does mean a lot. Any, any of the athletes on the team that you guys support or you enjoy their content, you know, using their code and supporting them, it, it, it really does help, you know, any of the athletes. So whether it's myself, whether it's Antoine, Valerie, whether it's Cody, whoever you guys are vibing with, make sure you support them. Until next time.